Our top story, a court in China has rejected an appeal by former top politician Bo Xilai against his life sentence. Xinhua News says the High Court in Shandong upheld the original sentence. The decision came less than an hour after the hearing began this morning. Mr. Po was in court to hear the appeal against his sentence. He was found guilty of bribery, embezzlement and abuse of power last month. Po's family, friends say five of his family members attended today's hearing, which was open to the public. Amongst them, his siblings and elder son. Bo is the highest profile official to be convicted in China's anti-corruption drive. His fall from grace came last year after a murder scandal involving his wife Gu Kai Lai. She was convicted of poisoning a British businessman Neil Hewitt, who had been a family friend. Our correspondent Valerie Tan has been following the trial closely and she joins us now from Shanghai. Uh, Valerie, was the ruling a foregone conclusion? Well, it's pretty much expected that, you know, the Supreme, the Higher Court in Shandong is likely to uphold the verdict that was put out, well, that was handed out by the D9 Intermediate Court, mainly because Bo Xilai did not seem to have fresh evidence to support his appeal. According to Chinese law, if he had fresh evidence, a hearing would actually be held for the appeal to happen. But the hearing was not held, so it only goes to show that Bo Xilai had no fresh evidence to go against the uh, prosecution evidence that was uh, handed out during the first trial. So does this mean that it is the end of the road for Po Xilai or does he have any further recourse? Yes, he does have further recourse. He has up to two years to petition uh, this verdict. He can actually bring the case to Beijing, uh, the equivalent of an attorney general's office. But then again, for officials there, for legal officials there to accept his appeal and take on the case, he does have to provide fresh evidence to show that he did not embezzle the money, he did not accept the bribery, and he did not abuse his power. All right, Valerie Chan reporting to us live from Shanghai. Thank you. Well, Bo Xilai was once a high flyer in the Communist Party and a princeling of Chinese politics. That's a description reserved for descendants of prominent party members. He was tipped for a position in the party's elite circle, the Standing Committee. But his conviction drew the curtains on his illustrious career. Bo Xilai's charismatic image won him many admirers. Before the scandal broke, he was the mayor and Communist Party chief of Chongqing City. The 64-year-old had history on his side. His father, Bo Yibo, was a revolutionary Red Army commander and one of the eight elders of China's Communist Party. Bo was credited with the stellar transformation of Dalian from a small port to a major city. But he's best remembered for his tenure as Chongqing City's leader, in particular his implementation of the Chongqing model. His active courting of foreign investment and massive spending on public infrastructure led to consistent double-digit GDP growth. On the social front, he initiated a slew of social welfare policies to lift the living standards of poor and rural citizens. Amidst these reforms, Bo led a campaign to purge organized crime and graft. To boost his profile, he promoted old communist values, harking back to the days of Chairman Mao Zedong. These included the public singing of red songs. But Bo's popularity earned him many enemies as well. His crusade against crime was tainted by accusations that he was using the police to purge personal foes. Convictions on charges of graft, bribery and abuse of power eventually called time on his ascent to China's leadership ranks.